So next thing is after hour or weekend move-ins and move-outs. So one of the things I've seen landlords do is I talk to a lot of different landlords and see a lot of user groups is ten, I'm sorry, landlords would talk about tenants and moving tenants in, that tenants only want to be moved in at inconvenient times because, well, the tenant's working, you know, they're only available after five o'clock or six o'clock to move in. Well, the thing you have to understand is that the tenant needs to bend toward your will, not necessarily you toward theirs. So we have just a standard policy. My recommendation to you is just come up with a set policy of we do move-ins Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 10 o'clock in the morning to 2 p.m. So pick one day, one of those days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, between that time frame, and then we will move you in during that time frame. And those are those are your allotted time frames that you have. If you want to pick any time outside of those move-in times, then we are going to charge you a convenience fee, a move-in fee. If somebody wants to move in on the weekend, well, of course you want to get them moved in because you want to collect the rent and having them start paying rent and so forth. But you also don't want to you you want to have a life too, and you know you don't want you don't want to bend your time around there. So if they do want to meet after hours or on weekends, then just charge them a fifty dollar fee. You know, thirty to sixty dollars. I think that's reasonable. Charge them a fee, even if it's a small one, for going out there for your time. To meet them on a Saturday because you know typically you know you've got a rest too, you've got a life, you could have a family. You want to make sure that you get something for that. So if you tell them that you're going to charge for them outside of those particular hours, it's amazing how they will put their move-ins and move outs, and if a tenant moves in or out, during those time frames that you specify. And that makes it more convenient for you because now you handle everything during business hours and you're not just crazy doing things after hours on weekends and and driving your spouse crazy because you're always working. So that's another fee that you could potentially charge if people uh, don't want to, uh, you know, if they don't want to fall within your policies or procedures. Now, notice I keep saying this a whole lot. Policies and procedures. Okay, it's very important, in my opinion, that you guys have that that you have a policies and procedures. Because if you ever need to meet with somebody, ma'am, our policy is we only meet Monday, Wednesday, and Friday between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. to do move-ins and move-outs. We can do them outside of that area, but there's an additional charge. So is, is there any time during the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 to 2, and so forth? That's your policy. Stick with it, because if it's your policy and if it's standard, then people don't question it. So I'm just trying to help you out because it's just like everything else. If, if you have this solid and it's down, then you will not have a problem when it comes to um, having people make a decision for you. I mean, because you're giving them what your policy